plant fam <laughs> welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Jacqueline this is not my jungle it's my car obviously <laughs> and if you're not new here thank you for coming back so today I am pretty excited because I haven't been out of the house in a couple of days it was snowing I was really tired I didn't have a lot of motivation to do anything so I finally got a little bit of rest last night and I'm pretty excited to go plant shopping with you guys today. So I have to run over to Manchester because, well, I want to. <laughs> I wanted to go and check out the Home Depot and the Lowe's over in Manchester, Connecticut. And then I figured we would also hop over to Woodland Gardens in Manchester because last time I was there they had some nice pots and I bought one and I want to buy more of that one <laughs> that I really liked. So that is the plan. And um, I can't forget to get my orchid bark at Lowe's. Hopefully they have it. And uh, that's it, we're gonna see what they have in stock. So let's head over to Manchester. Okay fam, so we are at the Home Depot in Manchester in case you missed that and these Syndapsis Trubii Moonlight are absolutely gorgeous. They have some global greens hanging out here as well looking nice and lush. Some really nice Aglionema that I don't know the name of. They even have some Raphidophora Tetrasperma that I've been seeing quite a bit this xanthosoma, xanthosoma <laughs> lindenii is really gorgeous as well and then down here we have some calathea mosaica super beautiful pattern on these leaves i just don't love the look of the overall plant another pretty calathea hanging out over there and then we've got some peace lilies here diphenbachia with like some ponytail palms and then back here we have some peperomia this is the shumi red peperomia i think it's a caparata i'm not 100 percent but really really gorgeous foliage on there lots of zz's birkins and then we had a whole row of monstera adansonii back here with some pretty nicely matured leaves these are 25 some more syndapsis trubii moonlight down there and then this gorgeous aglionema commutatum looking nice and healthy and full 14.98 for these that's a sago palm some cute little ponytail palms down here i may or may not have murdered mine <laughs> it's fine everything is fine some alocasia cuculata cu <laughs> i don't know how you're supposed to say it this really nice high color ficus teneki hanging out over here for 20 bucks not a terrible price for a really nice one they had some arrangements over here and these sago palms with the stupid glued down rocks that is really irritating i don't understand why anybody would sell a plant like that to be honest with you but i thought these were really cute these are the little variegated lipstick plants for 20 bucks in these cute hanging planters i'm definitely not mad about it because usually these hanging baskets these larger ones here of this hoya wayedii are 20 dollars. so you're paying the same price for just a slightly smaller plant but you're also getting a really nice hanging basket with it as well that wayedii is very full and pretty decently healthy so definitely not mad about it we've got some neon pothos some golden pothos lots of ivy on the bottom rack there and then up here there were some really cute little staghorn ferns these are $15.98 for these smaller baskets I always think the larger baskets are a better value if you can find one because they're $20 and they're like almost twice the size 
that was Cebu Blue Pothos, by the way. And then this Marble Queen right here, look at it. It is gorgeous. It is massive. This is a huge basket for only $20, you guys. I think this is one of the most underrated pothos like period i absolutely love the variegation and <laughs> let me tell you if i didn't have one of these already i probably would have snagged that because that is gorgeous the syngonium is really beautiful as well and then they had more hoya hoyerii hanging down here they had a couple of baskets and um i really wish somebody would come and buy them because i already have one or else I definitely would have snagged one of those as well. Over here we had some more of the same hanging plants, some more neon pothos, some tradescantia, a handful more of these variegated lipstick plants, although they don't look very variegated. They are really cute though. Their, their little leaves are adorable. I have one and I highly recommend it. Lots more ivy down there. We've got a whole row of these beautiful snake plants some peace lilies we've got some diphenbachia and aglionema silver bay or two hiding in there tons and tons of these massive zzs and these are all 26.98 so around the corner over here they did have a little clearance section which is unusual for home depot but I'm not going to complain about it. So these little calatheas were on sale for $10 and I thought these little pots were pretty cute. I, I don't really care for the plants, but I was tempted to buy some of those terracotta pots for $2 and then you guys, $4.99 for this massive hanging basket of staghorn ferns and they look fine. Honestly, like that was a steal. And if I was into staghorn ferns, I 100% would have snagged that for literally $5. That is insane. So some cute succulents and stuff hanging out up here. You've got some elephant bush, some regular degular anthuriums, and then these cyclamen flowers I just think are so cute. I don't know if you guys have ever looked at them closely, but they're literally like upside down. And I just find them to be so interesting and so cute. So we have some Easter cactus hanging out down here for $8. These ones are a little bit more rounded then the thanksgiving cactus to my left right there you could see has like some pointy bits on the leaves and they have different blooms the blooms on these are really really cute and this one is covered in blooms i was actually kind of tempted to snag it but i didn't some african violets jade plants down at the bottom there and then over here we just had some Regular degular assorted foliage the same stuff. We usually see nothing really standing out to me here These peperomias are cute. The pink syngoniums are catching my eye today and This peace lily was pretty stinking cute as well This was a nice little fern hiding in there and That's really it. There's some cacti and succulents going on over here, you guys know I always have to take a quick, a quick, <laughs> I can't speak, everything is fine, a quick look at what is going on in the succulent and cacti section because you never know when you might find something really unique and cool. It's looking like they pretty much have your standard stuff today, lots of fairy castle cacti and then some overstock of the assorted foliage cute little syngonium hanging out over here and then some raftophora hayi that i skipped over okay fam so that was the home depot and <laughs> i don't think they had anything new since the last time i was there sorry somebody pulled in like literally right next to me and I've been doing this for a long time, but sometimes it's still awkward. 
when somebody's just like right there watching you talk to your phone like he's 100% judging me right now but that's fine anyway <laughs> so Home Depot didn't really have anything super exciting they had some raffita for hey yeah you guys just saw that though so I'm about to tell you and um some Hoyas never mad about seeing some Hoyas they're not in terrible shape so I don't know let's go see what Lowe's has hopefully they at least have uh my orchid bark <laughs> I'm not tired, you're tired. Okay, okay, okay. So we are at the Lowe's in Manchester. It's literally right across the street from the Home Depot. And we are just checking out the little live trends set up over here. They have some of these Monstera Deliciosa for $25.98 in these cute little decorative pots looking pretty nice and healthy. Your girl is always on the hunt for some sneaky little sport variation on the Monstera Deliciosa, so I always have to pull them out and give them a good look. These were just regular degular, so we put them back. There's another Peperomia down here that I always forget the name of. Not Peperomia. Philodendron. Everything's fine. And then over here, we have some Staghorn Fern hanging baskets. This one literally looks exactly the same as the one we just saw at Home Depot for $5. So if you're in the market for one, I would definitely go and snag that. It has been a few days since I filmed this, but I think they should have a lot of the same stuff, maybe even more. You never know. Cute philodendron moonlight hanging out over here for $22.98. They had a few of them looking like okay-ish, I suppose. <laughs> There's some Baltic blue pothos hanging out over here from costa farms for twenty dollars and then they had this cute little hanging basket of peperomia scandins i like this one because it looks like a pothos but it's actually more of a succulent some string of bananas hiding up there as well we have some really sad syndapsis trubii moonlight i think the ones at home depot looked better for sure some parlor palms and then these massive succulents this variegated agave was actually pretty cute over here we have some ficus audrey cute little calathea this curly looking dracaena i thought was really sweet too and then i found this um what are you red maranta hiding in there lots of calathea lots of anthurium some cz ravens fiddle leaf figs back there and then over here on this side we have lots of regular green dracaena hanging out along the bottom some sad looking croton that has definitely seen better days and then another red maranta over here looking like it needs a little bit of love, but it could definitely be worse. They also had this really gorgeous hanging basket of rainbow moss. It's not literally moss, but it looks like it, so they call it rainbow moss, and I really love the blue tint to those leaves. I don't even know. I don't know what to call them. <laughs> this Fetonia over here hanging out for $7.98. These larger ones are $7.98. And this is a purple waffle plant, I believe, in this hanging basket. If you're into a little pop of purple, this really cute curly spider plant. This is the Bonnie spider plant. Some more assorted foliage over here. They had a cute little baby variegated Schifflera. These smaller ones are, did that say 548? I don't know. This is a Pilea Moon Valley, I think. The texture on those leaves are really, really cool. Some more assorted foliage hanging out down here. Nothing really super exciting. These 
parlor palms I thought were so gorgeous. They looked like they just got them in because they were really big and healthy and they weren't at all dry or damaged yet like I'm used to seeing. These Live Trends hanging planters were really cute for $16.98 with some heart leaf philodendrons in them, some pothos hanging out as well. Lots and lots of peace lilies here in these wick and grow containers. Definitely a good plant to have in a self-watering pot in my opinion. Peace lilies can get pretty dried out and pretty sad looking if you don't keep them well watered and a wick and grow or a self-watering pot is a really great way to avoid that happening. So cute aglionemas over here. Absolutely love this like silvery blue coloring on the leaves. I don't think these need to be in a wick and grow pot because they don't actually like sitting in wet soil. So if it were me, I would take those out of there. Very cute little, um, what are you? It was a fern. Blue star fern. <laughs> I like the color of the leaves on that one. Just taking a peek now at the succulents and the cacti that they have. I really hate how they glue on these plastic flowers. It's not cute and it just damages the plant when you go to rip them off. I haven't really found a way to go about that that isn't damaging to the plant. $7.98 for these cute little heart leaf um, Hoyas, Hoya Carii. I didn't forget my orchid mix, which is good. I'm glad they had the big bag. And then I felt like they had some pots that I hadn't really seen before. I don't know if these are new spring stock maybe but i wanted to give you guys a quick little peek in case you haven't really checked out the pots at your local lowe's yet sometimes you get lucky and they have some really cute stuff these look like they're new with the little bases on them here for $6.98 i definitely have enough face pots but these are super cute some nice little plain white ones and I thought these little pinstripe planters were pretty stinking cute as well. Okay, fam, so Lowe's was not really the best either today, but I got what I needed, so that's good. And I did pick up some seeds as well. If you guys are interested, I can show you what I got at the end of this video. And I just pulled into the parking lot at Woodland Gardens and I'm excited to see what they have. So we're gonna take a quick little walk around the greenhouse. I'm just gonna show you like an overview and what I find interesting in there. I'm not gonna like go crazy or else we're gonna be here for another hour. <laughs> and uh, maybe snag a pot or two. So let's go see what they have. Okay. Oh, are you following me? Hi. <laughs> You're really pretty. <laughs> okay, plants. Uh, wow, those are some big cacti. Ooh, that looks dangerous. Um, this is usually where they keep the succulents, but they also hide some Hoyas in here too, so I gotta check those out. Some of these silver dollar vines over here, $17.99. Cute little Peperomia Hope. And they had some nice hanging plants here. Bonnie spider plant and then this lipstick plant is really nice full healthy basket absolutely gorgeous this music is aggressive Hoya Australis hanging out over here. Looking like it's seen better days. We've got some of these fishbone cactus for five bucks. If you're into those, some cute 
Ripsalis and stuff hanging out. Over here, this rat tail cactus is crazy. See this thing? More succulents. There's some Hoya Carii over here. Getting way too much sun, unfortunately. 35, 25 for the smaller one. Some Stromanthi. Cute little philodendrons. Not so little, actually. This is huge. Not sure which one this is. Imperial Red, maybe. 25. That's a great price for this massive plant. Raphidophora, and then some Monstera Deliciosa. A little baby Adansonii. It's the time of year for Oxalis to be in stock, too. Got some nice pitcher plants for 26. Looking nice and healthy. Okay, voiceover Jackie is coming at you now because the music was really loud and I didn't want to worry about copyright issues. So these philodendrons are absolutely gorgeous hanging out over here. Um, these are the philodendron golden crocodile for $26.99. I've been rehabbing a little baby one. For quite some time now and it's finally starting to grow i'm definitely not mad about it some really nice um syngonium for thirty dollars this is the erythro stemma erythro erythrophyla i'm pretty sure and then they have these really massive cebu blues hanging out on a pole over here i just love how big and fenestrated the leaves can get on those some silver squill and then i don't know what these are but they're really cute variegated heb hebby hebe i don't know it's probably more of like an outdoor thing but i just thought they were really cute kind of look like a peperomia they've got tons of Floor plants, Ursula is looking good today. Lots of really massive fiddle leaf figs. Some cute angel wing begonia over here I don't know the name of. I did used to have this one. I don't really have very many begonias left anymore. $7.99 for this one. Um, I have some cuttings that I'm propagating. And then I have like one big begonia. My um, begonia... Rosie? Uh, I forget. Cracklin' Rosie. That's what it's called. That needs needs a little bit of love. So, Monstera Dubia over here for 105 I do think that this is a little bit overpriced based on the condition of the plant. Um, the size of the plant, not so much, but it's not looking great, so I don't think anybody's really going to buy it. They had a couple of little Hoya Carnosa's hanging out back here for $16.50. This Ficus Teneki I thought was absolutely stunning. If you guys can't tell, I really love the Ficus Elastica and the Teneki is one of my favorites. I cannot wait for mine to be a tree one day like that one. Some Calatheas and Marantas hanging out over here. You guys know I love my Calatheas. They are not for everyone, but I love them anyway. And then they did have a little discount section over here. This Sissus Discolor was only $10. It's definitely seen better days, but if you are in the market for a little rehab project, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Okay fam, so that was Woodland Gardens. They didn't really have much. I was hoping that they would have like some new spring stock, but I probably caught them in between getting a shipment and that's fine because your girl doesn't need any more plants. But I did pick up these terracotta pots without the drainage. I got a smaller one and a larger one. They're not like cheap, but <laughs> I like the ones without the drainage. So I got two and i'm not mad about it i also picked up my better grow orchid mix 
it's called a potting mix, but it's just uh, bark, charcoal, and perlite. And I like to mix this in with my soil and other stuff to make it nice and chunky. And then I also picked up some seeds. So I got some spinach. I got two different types of spinach. I don't know what the difference is between them, but we're going to grow both. You guys know I only do organic, so I just snag whatever is there. And then I got this curly kale. I really like this variety. I think it tastes really good. And then I also got some romaine. So basically a bunch of salad greens, <laughs> but I do also like to juice the spinach and the kale. So Lots of good stuff, in my opinion, just no plants. Plants that we need to grow. I know you guys don't care as much about seeds and starting um, growing my own food, but I'm gonna talk to you about it anyway. <laughs> so I hope that you had fun hanging out with me today, even though we didn't really see anything super exciting. I think that the nicest thing I saw today was probably those hanging baskets in, was it Home Depot or Lowe's? No, it was Lowe's of the variegated lipstick plants. I thought those were really nice and a great deal for 20 bucks already in a basket like that. And um, that's really it, you know? Nothing, nothing to write home about. So if you enjoyed hanging out with me, you should give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me. There's a join button if you want to be part of the official plant fam get yourself some perky perks if not there's a super thanks button you can donate a few dollars to my channel everything is appreciated i literally cannot do this without you guys and thanks for coming plant shopping with me today i'm really excited to get some new seeds started and be able to repot some plants now because i was missing my orchid bark so i love you and i hope i see you in the next one Bye.